in November 1936 with Ryujo and Kaga's rebuilds complete and Akagi's rebuild and Soryu's construction underway, Japan began its next carrier. This was the 17,600 ton Hiryu. Again, to sidestep the treaty, like her half-sister, her weight was officially stated to be 10,050 tons. Something about a flight deck cruiser. Meanwhile, Japan would continue to build up its shadow fleet of carriers. More on that later. Originally, she was planned to be a straight sister to Soryu. Following the Tomozu and Fourth Fleet incidents, though, new constructions and rebuilds were altered. Soryu, being the first, was only slightly changed, but with Hiryu, more extensive changes were made. The main deck was raised a level. Her hull was strengthened and widened. Also, more armor was added. Her hangar sizes weren't changed, which again meant the larger attack aircraft could only fit in the top hangar. Her flight deck was slightly widened compared to Soryu. Also, her elevators were enlarged to handle the bigger aircraft expected to come online. To keep her at the same speed, despite her heavier weight, she was given more powerful machinery. And of course, she was given a new design island that was set midship on the port side, like the rebuilt Akagi for comparison to Soryu. On the downside though, her hangars were enclosed, like everyone else's. At the time, this seemed pretty rational. Remember, it wasn't doctrine to run up aircraft in the hangar. So, keep the weather out and all that. Unfortunately for her, like most Japanese carriers, she had a wooden flight deck. And I can't bring myself to talk about Hiryu without mentioning this guy. Admiral Taimon Yamaguchi. He was the commander of the 2nd Carrier Division and flew his flag on Hiryu. Interesting guy. Among other things, apparently when he heard there was talk of his carrier division being left out of the Pearl Harbor raid due to fuel capacity, he got drunk and told everyone what his opinion was. Then at Midway, when Yorktown was spotted while Nagumo was waffling, he wanted to send the planes out however they were armed. That would have emptied the hangars at 1020. On the downside, once he saw the other carriers burning from the bridge of Hiryu, or even after the first strike on Yorktown, rather than pack it in and living to fight another day, he just decided to keep going. When the hole gets deeper than you can jump, stop digging. Speaking of Pearl Harbor, I've been trying to work this in but haven't done it, so I'll throw it in here. Apparently the main reason Hiei and Kirishima were taken on the Pearl Harbor raid wasn't to fight enemy surface ships they came across. Apparently the main reason was because they were considered to be the only ships capable of towing any damaged carriers back to Japan fast enough to be acceptable. Only barely relevant, but interesting. Hiryu was started July 8, 1936 and was completed July 5, 1939. Main armament was six twin 127mm 45 caliber dual purpose guns on sponsons three on each side at the upper hangar level. Belt armor was 48 millimeters, increasing to 150 millimeters aside the magazines. The armored deck topped off the belt armor and was 25 millimeters, increasing to 55 millimeters over the magazines. Propulsion was provided by eight boilers, venting to two funnels, which came out midship on the starboard side at the upper hangar level and bent downwards. These provided steam to the four turbines, each running propeller to generate 153,000 horsepower for a speed of 34 knots. She had two rudders. The flight deck was 216.9 meters by 27 meters. The forward elevator was 13 meters by 16 meters. The middle elevator was 13 meters by 12 meters and was offset to starboard. The rear elevator was 11.8 meters by 13 meters and was also offset to starboard. The upper hangar was 171.3 meters by 18 meters and was 4.6 meters high. The lower hangar was 142.4 meters by 18 meters and was 4.3 meters high. 
maximum aircraft capacity was 73, but her normal load was about 21 fighters, 21 dive bombers, 21 torpedo planes, plus, plus spares. Again, coming into service in the late 30s and being lost so early in the war, she never got any real modifications.